I'm glad to know that uh, the Department of Personnel and Training is organizing a two-day event on the National Symposium on Excellence in Training. And uh, I think a distinct feature of this event this year is that it is being preceded by four regional conferences happening uh, in uh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Haryana and Meghalaya. And uh, the most heartening feature of this two-day event this year is that the National Symposium is going to focus on the theme of citizen-centric governance. As all of us know, ever since the present government took over about two years ago under the leadership of Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, there has been a priority focus on governance. And ever since the Prime Minister gave us the mantra of maximum governance, minimum government, the Department of Personal Training has been embarking on a number of measures to achieve this objective. And the objective of maximum governance to me would imply ease of governance, more of accountability, more of transparency and above all citizen centricity. And in today's India, in the India of 2016 when we talk of citizen centric governance, it would essentially translate into youth centric governance for the simple reason that the India of 2016 has a population which is uh, more than 65 percent comprised of the age group of below 35 years or so and therefore any governance which is targeting the last citizen in the last queue has to essentially keep the priorities, the concerns and the preferences of the youth of this country in mind. And I am also happy to share that in the last two years there have been a series of path breaking initiatives taken by this government primarily targeting the youth. Soon after the government came into being just within two or three months we did away with the age old practice of uh, getting the certificates attested by the guested officers and we brought in the provision for self-attestation and thereby also sent a loud message across the country that look here this is a government which has the capacity to trust the youth of this country. Beginning from the 1st of this, uh, 1st of January this year, we have done away with the practice of holding interviews for selections to junior posts, group C, D and a number of non-guested posts. Uh, of course carrying on with skill test in appointments where it is essentially required, but there also the qualify the, the skill test is essentially qualifying and does not actually count off the merit calculated by way of the written test. This would enable a level playing field for youth coming from diverse backgrounds in this country and would also eliminate the room for any misappropriations which were allegedly being uh, done in the appointments earlier. In addition, we have also started an exercise beginning from the 25th of December last year, which is observed as a Sushasad Divas or Governance Day. The exercise of coming out with a minimal single page form for various applications uh, by way of curtailing the repetition of uh, information to be furnished in the application forms and also by way of uh, by including only the minimal information required for a particular application. And I am sure by the end of this year, we will be through with many of the ministries and many of the departments as far as these application forms are concerned. Uh, similarly, we have also come out with a number of other measures to ease the governance and also to ease the manner in which the youth of this country and the citizens of this country can avail of good governance. At the same time, I am seriously conscious of the fact that bureaucrats and the civil servants working in the department of personal training also working in the other departments of the ministry and the other ministries are essentially the tools for good governance and therefore in the last two years the DOPT has taken a number of measures which were never heard of earlier for uh, providing a work friendly environment for the civil servants. We introduced the practice of having daily yoga camps beginning from the 1st of April last year. We have also eased some of the conditions for availing of LTC. We have also brought in certain modifications in the transfer policy. And therefore, in a nutshell, the objective of this government is to provide good governance based on the noble objective of citizen centricity and at the same time provide an environment which enables all the functionaries and the officials to give to the best of their ability, to the best of their potential. Wishing you once again a fruitful symposium and I am sure the outcomes 
that finally come out of uh, this two day exercise would be shared by all of us and would also provide us with the inputs for a future roadmap.